Yo, what's up followers? This is Zach Mason coming back at you from San Francisco. I uh, just want to, you know, give you a little review of the Stonestown Galleria located in the Stonestown Mall uh, right off of the San Francisco State Muni Stop. Actually, no, there's a Stonestown Muni Stop. Yeah, so you can you can literally just pull up right there via public transit. You could take the 28, you could take the 18, you can take the, the 29 too. You know, it just pulls up right there. Uh, anyways, I digress. Um, I'm, I, what I'm talking about today is the the pros and cons of this mall. <laughs> you know, it might be a funny topic, which my my colleague Noah, uh, it, uh, I guess, is is finds this comical in some way, but it is in no way, shape, or form comical in any capacity. You know, this is this is a mall where where millions of dollars are spent where experiences are are molded <laughs> memories are made and you know the future of america uh, at least san francisco i guess is being shaped <laughs> you know i guess it is kind of funny from an anthropological view you know it's just where people go to spend their money on things they don't need but that make them happy I'm not okay. I don't know why I'm criticizing this mall. Okay, so you know. Okay, so let me let me first just. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the mall is not good. It it has it has the potential to be to be good, um, especially especially because there's only there's only two malls in San Francisco, you know. So so you'd think that there'd be uh, there'd be a little more uh, a lot more invested in. Um, you know, businesses would look at this as a good opportunity uh, in in some way, but um, it's it's disappointing um, if you're if you're really gonna if I'm, I'm I'm just gonna tell you right now it is a disappointment. Um, so uh, so I'll, I'll name the pros first though. So so one pro, you got Mrs. Fields, okay, Mrs. Fields. And cream, cream was added uh, earlier this year in January 2016. Now those are game changers, and I don't know how how cream's addition will shape, will will turn out, uh, especially with Mrs. Fields. You know, um, relatively same uh, 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 products that they offer, um, and uh, I do know Mrs. Fields has raised their prices at least since before cream got there. Uh, I I got a a a cookie slice a cookie pie slice for three ninety nine and then a frosted one for four ninety nine. Well, um, in in case you don't know, um, if you are paying with a method that is not cash, I they don't take checks, um, but not cash, so card of some sort. Um, you have to spend at least five dollars, and uh, but this today was the first day I went back. Um, since pre cream, and I used to be able to, you know, buy these two these two items: the cookie slice, regular one without frosting, and with frosting as well. And you know, it used to be like five five ninety nine. You know, not not too expensive, not a little bit over the five dollar limit. Today, it was eight dollars, eight dollars for two cookies. And you know, th this was this was later in the day. The cookies weren't fresh. Um, you know, I was really disappointed and, you know, um, I'm not entirely sure, you know, the, I, I don't, I don't understand how they're still going to compete in a very competitive market in, at this mall, um, with cream, you know, the, the fresh new face of the, of the cookie, uh, industry, especially in San Francisco. Um, but you know, those are, those are two pros, um, or one pro, uh, Another pro would be Apple Store. You know, very convenient, um, very very convenient actually, especially for uh, a, a university such as San Francisco State being in such close proximity. Um, you know, in case you need to, you know, uh, I go there frequently to pick up my iPhone chargers, um, the, the USB cables that, as we all know, you know, aren't <laughs> the best quality. But, um, but, you know, Apple's kind of uh, monopolized that system, especially if you're on an iPhone. Um, and, but anyways, um, you know, they have uh, an Apple store. That is incredibly convenient. Very nice. Um, and you'd expect Apple to, to 
take this opportunity uh, to their, you know, uh, capitalize on this. Um, another another uh, a plus would be the um, just the the mere fact that um, uh, you know uh, if for college students to go somewhere to get food, you know, you have a, a vast a, va a vast selection of food, and I'm not I'm not saying that this is great for food. Okay, um, I'm I'm merely saying that uh, it's it's nice to be able to go somewhere with a, with a vast selection of food, um, and I'll I'll touch upon this uh, a little later in my video because if I don't know, if you've been there, um, excuse me by the way I just spoke. Um, I don't know if you've been there, but um, <clears throat> the food in the in the court kind of sucks. Um, but let me get back, let me get back to the, the diversity of options, okay, so you got Chipotle, okay, fantastic, uh, you know, a solid, um, you got, you got McDonald's, uh, you got Olive, Olive Garden, I mean, come on, come on, Olive Garden, you can't, you can't beat Olive Garden, um, you got Blaze Pizza, you got, uh, uh, I, I forgot what the burger place is called, um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the burger place is called, uh, you got yeah yeah hook burger. Although I'm not going to commit to myself to uh, limiting. That's what the name is. Uh, you also have uh, a couple more. Uh, you got you got uh, again Mrs. Fields Uniqlo. and, and, and uh, uh, cream. <clears throat> but uh, I yeah okay. So those are the pros. Okay, very few very few pros. Um, and they're and they're in limited number, uh, especially due to the fact that uh, uh, Mrs. Fields and Cream are in the branch of, of eateries. Um, but I, I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to talk about cons now. And uh, yeah, so the Stonestown Gallery sucks. Um, and um, okay, so here, here are the reasons. M main reason, number one, um, you don't have as diverse of a selection of clothing as, you, as you'd want. Um, it, you know, it's only, only main brand stores, which is expected in a commercial mall, uh, especially, uh, one that is owned by, uh, you know, in the Galleria kind of branch. But, um, you know, it, it, I, I'm disappointed in the amount of stores that, you know, there's no, there's no boutique stores. Um, and this might be due to the fact that uh, the rent in Stonestown might be fairly high, especially due to the the, the, the prime real estate in, in one of the malls, you know, big business opportunity. Um, but, you know, it, it is nice um, to have some stores that, you know, have, you know, a fresh face to the, to the industry. Um, and, you know, if... It's it's something that would uh, if I were to go to the mall and I'd see a store, I would I would be pleasantly surprised, you know, to to come across. Yo, wow, look look at this store. I don't know what I don't know what's in there. I'm gonna go and check it out. I know it's in Gap. I know it's in Uniqlo. Uh, I know what's in uh, Forever Twenty One. I don't want to go in there. Um, but you know these these boutique stores. I see one item I like and I'm in there and I. Um, a customer that's that uh, might might purchase something, uh, which is mutually beneficial to both the, the store and to me. Um, another another con is definitely the food court. The food court is really bad. Okay, um, you know it has the, its traditional its traditional uh, mall food. You know, a hot dog on a stick, panda, which are average if you just isolate them and look at them on an individual scale. But, uh, yeah, they have San Francisco Soup <laughs> Company. I mean, come on. You have Bodine in the bottom floor, closer on the Macy's section. Why would you have the second soup place? It's terrible. And then you have this terrible pizza place uh, that I don't know. I don't know the name. They have another sushi place, some Japanese place. I don't know. It looks terrible. It looks really bad. Um, I mean... Again, if you if you isolate these these eateries and you look at them on an individual basis, uh, let's say like they they have a restaurant somewhere in San Francisco, I might I might consider it. I might consider going there to eat, but the fact it's in a mall and I'm it's surrounded by other inferior, uh, you know, culinary cuisine, you know, 
eateries and whatnot, it, it deters me from spending any money. I Although I will add that the Starbucks is very convenient. Um, very, very convenient. There's also a Pete's located on the outside, on the exterior of the mall, kind of close to Chipotle, um, which is also, I don't know, uh, you know, I mean, you, at least you get, you get some, some options. Uh, um, another, another con, I would say, is it's not the biggest mall. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, there's not as many opportunities for, for a lot of stores to, to, you know, jump in, uh, especially if there is, you know, 95% of the stores are solid, you know, you know, chain stores, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but another, another one of these cons is, uh, that one of the escalators is out and there's no, there's no staircase, you know, they, they, they just assume that we only want to use escalators. I guess they didn't, they didn't include it in the planning, but one of the escalators is out and I have to walk all the way down to the other side to, to, to get upstairs to go purchase something or to go, you know, check out the store. And I I have on multiple occasions not gone upstairs because of due to the fact that I I have to walk to the other side of the mall. Uh, uh, this is if I were standing in the very center of the mall where where this escalator is located. Um, I have to walk to the other side to get upstairs to get up to the second floor, um, and it's it's poor planning. Um, you know, and, and this escalator has been out for months. I don't know how, how, you know, I don't know if that's a testament to how much they value their, the, you know, their, their, their mole, how, how much money they're willing to put in, you know, how much they, they truly care about the experience of, of being able to shop. Um, so, you know, those are those are my, some of my concerns, and th there's a lot more. Um, I'm sure that I'm just speaking on a very general basis. Um, I've had individual experiences in which I have not really been too pleased with the administration, um, and uh, you know, I, I will give it that there are some good. Again, you know, Chipotle, Olive Garden, great, great places. Um, you know, you can't beat that. And that makes up for a lot of, a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, that, that, that's a good, that is, that, that is saving them. Um, but, you know, there are a lot of downsides. Um, I guess, I guess all in all, if you live anywhere, uh, but, uh, you know, south, in the southern San Francisco, you know, Sunset, Richmond area, uh, mission ish. Like very, I mean, close proximity to, uh, uh, especially if uh, public transportation that takes you directly to Stone Sound. There, there is zero reason for you to go unless you do need to go to a specific store. Um, but, and and again, like this brings me back to the the, the one of the pros of the stores is Apple. Uh, is the Apple store, you know, if, if someone in the surrounding area of this mall, not necessarily someone that could, lives in San Francisco State, you know, as I mentioned earlier, very convenient for the culture students, someone that lives in close, close proximity to the mall, that, uh, if this is their closest Apple store, they have to go to the mall. Um, it, it's one of the main, one of the only features of the mall that, that, you'd want to go to, or at least a vast majority of people would like to go to. So again, all in all, the mall has a couple pros. Uh, the vast majority are cons, um, but it, again, not not recommend you go there. Um, so so that's that's my uh, little take on Stonestown. You're free to go there. Check it out yourself. Like uh, yeah, uh, y you know, uh, feel free to comment below on your your experiences if you had some, if you're going to make some, uh, and uh, yeah. So that's it. Um, be sure to like and subscribe <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah. Uh, and, uh, I'll catch you, catch you later. I'll catch you later. Um, uh, get, also like, you know, co comment some, some ideas on some videos, uh, some, some topics you might like me to, you know, just ramble on. Uh, uh, Led Zeppelin song, you know, great. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll let you go. Uh, later.
Uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.